everyone. It's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is your 21st time joining me, welcome. I'm so glad that you have found me. Um, make sure that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get notified immediately as soon as I do go live on YouTube. And as far as the Facebook groups, um, you'll get notified or I do send out notifications as well during the day. In any event, this is my Tuesday. How did they do that? Um, Technique Tuesday that I do every single Tuesday. This one happens to be episode number 38. And this one's um, this one's a, a hard one to not to do. It, it's 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 a real stretch is probably what I'm saying. Hello, Pam. Um, when I say a stretch on it, it is called the faux, and I hope I don't brutally um, ruin this close in a and what that is is um it's the fake close in may and close in may is um it, it's actually more to do with jewelry making um and it has enamel and then it's fired up so it kind of goes along with what goes on with embossing and that sort of stuff so you can get some pretty amazing um techniques with this or looks with this particular one when it originated the best thing to do was to take a magazine. Like, really, who has magazines now? But we all have Stamp It Up catalogs, right? So this one would have been a really good image to use for it. Um, and what it is, is you use a piece of, um, uh, usually you use a, a magazine piece. And then you would um, use embossing and you would emboss on this and then you would cut it out. I didn't find this until later, but what, what we're doing ours with, or the one today with, is I am using designer series paper. Hello, Pam and Debbie and Kay. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate that. In any event, this is this is simple technique, um, but you can get some pretty amazing results depending on the type of paper that you use. So I am going to use By the Bay designer series paper and I'm going to use this one because I want there to be lots of color in it um, and but a shiny surface is really good and a thinner surface is really good as well um, but like I say it's actually referred to jewelry so what you want to do and we are going to match this up with our butterfly brilliance um, stamp and also, well, we're not going to use the dies because actually this, this technique is usually fussy cut out. Um, but we could use it through the dies, but I just, with dies. Um, but it may not get close enough with the dies. So I am actually going to fussy cut this. But you could use these dies if you wanted to. Haven't used these in a long time. This, we never know. Is this going to be retiring in April? We just don't know. So it's something, um, stay tuned for it. But I like how you can basically turn around and you could use this any kind of designer series paper. And I'll show you one later on that I used with um, the textured chic one. And it turned out really nice, but you didn't see the dramatic um, look on it. So I really wanted to show that off. All right. So I do have this. I'm not using the shiny side um, on one piece. When I did try it, it did work really good with the shiny piece. Um, so that's entirely up to you what you want to do. You may have to experiment with it. I'm just coming back to get my other um, magnet off of here. So we're going to come in with our embossing buddy and we're going to get it good and rubbed. And you know what? I'm going to stamp the whole stamp this time. I was trying to just do a certain portion of the stamp and I was finding it was, I was having issues with trying to do it so but we're going to use our stamparatus see i'm using the stamparatus so much hello felicia all right so then we're going to come in with whoops our um first mark and i'm just going to put that all over the these butterflies and this i could make two or three different um cards with once i do it i have an idea i'm hoping it's going to work and then I'm just going to come in with my Chucky. And remember, if you do not know what a Chucky is, you can just go under my YouTube channel and look up the best tool. And it's called a Chucky, C-H-U-C-K-I-E. 
Um, and you can make it from anything recycled. These are the furniture things. The reason this is so black is probably because I don't clean off my stamparatus plates as well as I probably should. So I'm going to lift that up. And I've got it done, but I want to go again with it. And we're going to just make sure. Now, you can use any kind of the metallic um, embossing um, powders. I thought copper would be really nice, depending if you have like a brownish paper and that sort of stuff. But gold works really, really well. Hello, Benita. So like I say, we're doing the faux cloisonnon, cloisonnon, clo cloisonne technique. So like I say, shiny is really good, the shiny background um, on here. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to lift this up to the light and see that I've got enough embossing powder on here. All right. And then I'm just going to take this off. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to get some gold embossing powder on here. Like I say, it's um, really interesting. I think if I had more magazines, I could have shown you something with magazines. Like I say, I don't have magazines anymore. Um, if I look at anything, it's usually, I don't even go to a doctor's office, right? We do everything virtually. Mind you, I have gotten some of my best recipes from a doctor's office. And let's just get this one done as well. Got this color covered. Okay, and and using the butterflies is really nice because it's quite an open space. Remember, I said a while back that I said the one thing that you really want to do. Hello, Laura and Marilyn. Um, you want to be able to perfect your embossing. Um, if you have issues embossing, practice because it just opens up so many different techniques for you. So just get this going. And like I say, the, the more detail that you maybe have on something like this works really, really well. I wish I had gotten this one done better. But let's just get this done. And you just want to make sure that it's and you don't really see what technique or what it's actually looking like until I start cutting them out and start putting them onto the card itself. I had done this one quite a few years ago, but that was when I had um, magazines. There's some pretty amazing um, things that I've done with it. All right, so we have that. And then what I think I'll do is I will just quickly fussy cut. Really like this one, but it's not going to work. So, whoops, this one's not heat set properly. I can see it. So we'll just go in and make sure. Now, like I said, we could use the die cuts, um, but by using the die cuts, um, you get a bigger border around it. So let me just go in. Hmm. I think I'll use this bigger one. So remember when you're cutting and fussy cutting, 
And these instructions do say that. Now, remember tomorrow what I'll be doing is I'll be posting this with the picture of this card. But when you are fussy cutting, I'll go back to that, is you move the paper. You do not move your scissors, you move, move the paper. Now we wanna be careful that we have the antennae Right here, but see this dark blue really lends to um, colors in the butterfly. And I, I can imagine this with uh, pink or um, um, bright purples and that sort of stuff. One thing to remember too, and I've tried it with gold um, on the paper and it does not work if you have gold already on the paper. So see, we have that like that and see how that changes the look of that butterfly. All right, I really wanted to use that one, but that's okay. We'll go in and when you see these other ones that I've done, you'll go, wow, like it changes on every single um, one just because of the different types of paper. I did this one year actually in poinsettias with red uh, magazine. So we're kind of improvising with this, but this is that kind of a paper. Now we have new exclusive designer series paper that demonstrators got this month or could pre-order this month. And um, it would be a beautiful paper with this as well. So what's coming are inclusive online specials. They'll start on March. You'll only, there's not coming out as a flyer is what it is. They're coming out as a, um, I'm thinking maybe this one here. They, they're, they just come out where you can just look online for them. There's no end date to them. Um, they're kind of like our kits. Um, if they're popular, they'll probably get them back in if they sell out. Um, but they're just mainly, they're not ever going to be seen in a catalog is, is the whole idea of it which really is a great idea because what could happen is um, this way Stampin' Up! can stay more on top of the trends instead of having to wait because their catalogs are two years out. So I think it's going to prove to be really good in that aspect. All right, so I've got a bunch of those cut out. I could say this one would have been really pretty. And let's go in. And I have just a piece of basic white. It's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's a thick stuff. I'm just going to fold it. Hello, Lala. And then we're just going to come in with our bone folder. And I do happen to have, and I don't, I, did I cut this down? No, I didn't. I've got some balmy blue on here as well. I'm just gonna come in. Balmy blue is part of one of the colors that's on there. So I'm gonna go in, actually, I'm gonna try this at three and three quarters by five on the front. We'll see how that looks. May have to go grab another piece. Oh, that'll be good. And then it's gonna come like this. And then these. We're gonna come like this. And I think we can just have it go like this. And like I say, we're going pretty straightforward. So I'm going to make, to me, butterflies always remind me of possibly um, sympathy card. So I'm going to use this as a sympathy card and I'm going to emboss with gold. And the stamp set that I'm using is from By the Bay. I'm hoping that that's straight because I couldn't really see it. And we'll use some gold on there as well. You can say everyone, depending on what you use in there, I 
and then I'll just do that there. And like I say, this is going to be a really simple card. The whole idea of this card is to show off the technique. It's not to show off a fancy fold card or anything like that. Now, this would be nice if it was embossed as well, like with an embossing folder. But if we did that, we would have had to put this on something else. All right. So this can go like this. Now, we also have the option. Let's see. You know what? I think this would be better if it's cut a little bit closer. There. And there. So you know what? There's that. And see, it doesn't do justice when you actually see it on the um, in here. It really does look quite nice. You know what? I went and I had this. I'm using the Distress Gold. And this happens to be from the um, textured shapes or textured chic. And I'm going to just put that on. And that'll kind of take up because like I say, I think it would have looked really nice with embossing. An embossing folder. This will look quite nice and I'm not going to put any ribbon on it. So I'm going to let that set for just a second. So let's go ahead and put this right on here. Oh, thank you. Like I say, um, shiny is really good. Unfortunately, um, it wouldn't work with the designer series paper. You can't do it with, uh, um, oh, it's, it's not very good. Um, you can't do it with the sh anything with metallics on it because what happens is that it, it tends to, um, you lose the color or you lose the whole, um, the image actually with the embossing. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Let's put this on there. Actually in real life, it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna actually, this has got a different color on the back. I'm just gonna come and I'm just gonna curl these leaves a little bit, uh, leaves, the wings a little bit. And this we can curl just a bit as well, but it's going to be flatter down. Probably wondering where my take your pick tool is. It has, okay, this is going to go there. This one is going to go under going to go flat but the leaves are going to be on top let's go ahead and curl these leaves wings leaves wings so i'm just going to put the glue on there hi carly how are you so let's just put that on there Just say simple card, but demonstrating the technique, right? And we can put come in with this. Put this in the middle. Like I say, you're not seeing it as pretty as what this is here. in there. Let's take that off. So there's what it looks like there. Now, 
I am coming in with these pastel um, dots. Now they're in the blue, the pink, and um, the gold. And I almost tripped over. I put the embossing on the bottom. I'm going to come in and let's use the gold on here. One here. There we go. So, like I say, that is the faux cloy cloisonne. Clo Poisonne stamping. Now I want to show you a couple of other things. I should do something on the inside as well. You know what? I'll just take one of these butterflies. Let's quickly cut that one out. Yeah, I can. Like I say, you'd be better to cut a little bit closer especially because of this navy that's in there. But I think that navy is what makes these these butterflies so pretty. Now, imagine what this would be like with lighter colors, pink colors. I can think of a paper, a designer series paper that we had last year that would have been just beautiful with these. So don't forget, tomorrow what's going to happen at 9.05 on my Facebook group, I will post this, this um, sheet. I'll post the PDF of it. It'll have the picture of the card here. It'll have the measurements that I've used. And if there's some certain things that I've used, like the stamp set, I'll use that. And this designer series paper, because somebody will say, where did you get that designer series paper? And of course, it's the by the bay. Okay. Let's... So it just shows you don't have to use by the bay for by the bay suite, right? Okay, so this can go right here. Oh, thanks, Felicia. Like I say, a lot of these techniques that we use in card making are from um, art classes. They're from, um, they can be, like, I remember doing some of these things in, oh, such a long time ago. All right, so we have that. So it's just like that. Now, this was done with the other one that has the shells. And see how pretty that is. Now, this has some of the opalized on there. And that's quite a pretty one as well. Now, this is that te textured chic is what I did here. And see, this is with the background. And it's so pretty with the pinks, the petal pink and that. And the pool party and the mint macaron that's very pretty so it just shows how you could do different ones like that but pretty simple card but like I say it's the technique that we're really really um, thinking of and I think the butterflies do um, tend to it now remember if you do like this give me the thumbs up if you like it um, share my video I really do appreciate it. if you do share my video that's one of the biggest compliments that you can give me now, what is going on? I apologize for nothing yesterday, and that was because I was on my way back from a cheer competition. The girls did really well. It's amazing how from province to province here in Canada, the levels of cheer, and the reason being for that is because um, they go two, two months in advance, they do. So anyways, it's, um, yeah, it's it was so much fun. It was great to see the girls and... Um, competition was amazing it's their agility is unbelievable gone are those days <laughs> anyways there's your card i'm gonna pop that down let's let's look at that one once more so there it is and that is called faux close and a and like i say it actually is a jewelry technique all right, so I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. I'll be posting. Um, it's for my mystery challenge. I post three clues. Actually, tomorrow, I think there's going to be four clues. Um, so um, join me tomorrow. Um, I post the clues at 12 o'clock, and I'll be on here at 3 o'clock Pacific time with um, a mystery challenge. Um, and then on Thursday, we'll be doing another Now What um, series at 6.30 Pacific time, and that's where I pick something from the studio and we learn how to make it. So learn what to do with it um, in other ways. In any ways, thank you all for joining me. If you do live in Canada and do not have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. 
in any event, you guys have a great evening and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.